Howdy folks, this is a uh, midweek shave for me, Wednesday morning, bright and early around 4.30 in the morning. I'm an early riser, and uh, today I'll be shaving with my uh, Feather Artisan SS Camisori style. The blade that I normally shave with comes in a container that looks like this, in other words the Super. This is the only blade I've ever used with this. And today, I'm using a blade that comes in a box that looks like this. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. There is some English on there. And I've never used this before. This may be my first time using it. So I uh, really don't have any idea how this is going to go today. Um, <clears throat> the uh, soap that I'm using today is Banyulay Dryads and if you have not seen, now this is an older tub but uh, you can kind of tell I've been scooping out of it but uh, this is what it looks like. Her presentation of her uh, soaps are very unique to me and um, really like this scent also. Uh, if you have never tried some of her soaps it might be worthwhile trying. Like I say, her presentation of her soaps is a little bit different than everybody else's, as you can see. And uh, this is a splash I'm going to be using dryads also. Um, I do have Allen Block, complete with rubber band. got to have the rubber band for me. It'll slide right out of my hands. Here's my Witch Hazel. And the Beard Bone that I'll be using off camera is Cremo. And... This is what it looks like, and it has a spearmint scent to it. The brush that I'm using today is a Syntec by Omega. As you can tell, Monica's soap has no problem with the lather. She's one of the first ones that ever got me hooked, I guess you might say. I'm already taking a uh, hot towel to the face. Bloom water to the face. I'm going to re-red it real quick and get lathered up. Yeah, she was the first one that were, when I bought one soap, I decided uh, I needed to get more because I really like her soap. She makes great soap. The scents that she makes are great. I like them. You probably will find that most artisans do make good soap nowadays. I guess you might say they, uh, most of them have figured out what formulations work well and have improved on them over time. I'm not saying you can't find one that doesn't work very well for you. And sometimes it may be based more on scent. Um, if I'm pronouncing this right, Ogalalala. In other words, some of the uh, uh, stuff that they use in their scent making process and their soap uh, may not be suitable for everybody's skin type, in other words. This will be the uh, first pass. Camisori style feather artisan club SS. I really like this style of uh, shave it. To a degree, already I can I can feel the difference. I don't have a problem with the super. It does feel sharper. I don't know if edgy would be the word for it. It might depend on what your what you prefer in a way of a blade. What suits you better? Either one of these blades will work fine for you, at least for me.
like I said, if you haven't seen her presentation of some of her soaps, I have several of them. And they're very unique. Yes, most of them do look like they have a uh, been scored out of uh, one of those uh, icing for cake type fittings. Which is, I think is cool. There was... Um, One of her soaps I've been eyeing for, well, I've been eyeing a lot of her soap for a long time. Just, you know how it is, you can't buy every one of them that you want. And uh, this one in particular, uh, since it's getting closer to the holidays, I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, holiday berries. And uh, I'll use it here pretty soon. And uh, I'll show you what the inside of that one looks like. But inside, of, there's uh, some what looks like berries in there. To me, I just think it's kind of cool looking. No, it doesn't have anything to do with the performance of the of the soap, but uh, it's just something unique about her soap. Kind of, this blade feels more like a uh, after shaving with. Uh, the injectors here the past few days it does feel like uh, it doesn't feel like the super it feels more like an injector blade super is pretty darn sharp at least that's how it feels on the face I guess you might say I already <laughs> already got hooked on the supers already and that like I say that's what I started out with was the super so Now with the Super, I was getting 10 shades with the blade. I could get more. It's just, I decided at that point that's a good place to stop. Because the shaves for me at that point diminished quite a bit. Not quite as comfortable. And since you already get 20 in a pack, I kind of feel like, you know, why push it? get an uncomfortable shave just to see how many you get. I'm not that interested in getting a bad shave. Just to see how many I can get out of one. I guess you might say that's the farthest I will, I'm willing to push it to get a, a good shave. Face it. Ten shaves out of blades is pretty good. And your experience might be different. You might get more, you might get less. Depends on uh, what your needs and wants are and how thick your beard is. This SS is, um, might be considered easier to find an angle on. I know it seemed like it just came naturally to me. I like this one. There might be a day that comes that I might want to try the DX, but right now I don't really have a desire to try the DX. This one here works just fine for me. Got this one on eBay. Not eBay, I'm sorry. Amazon. And I picked it up for, at that point in time, right around $60. Now, I've noticed there are many other websites that have a tendency to carry it around hundred and twenty hundred thirty dollar mark and uh, to me I think the uh, sixty dollar mark was one of the things that caught my eye finally when I decided to pull the trigger on it felt like it was comfortable it was part of the uh, I guess you might say uh, an idea from Facebook group that I'm part of uh, 
Shave at World that we would, uh, some of us, if we could, we would try shaving with a Cam Sori style uh, razor. And that's what helped encourage me to pull the trigger because I had, uh, ever since I started to get interested in uh, a Shavette, that, this one here is the one I've always had my eye on and really felt like this is the one I really would like. As you can tell, her soap is pretty creamy. Now this um, brush is a Syntec synthetic bristle, different than, the, say, like the Omega S. The bristles are different. Of course, they look different too, but they are different in the way of their, of their texture. The uh, to me, the Omega S brush feels like it's a broken in uh, bore brush where this one here to me it feels like a bore brush that hasn't been broken in yet just depends on what you like and what you can tolerate I guess you might say for me for the price I really like these brushes makes it kinda hard as much as I like horsehair to me, that would be, how can you say, the, the equivalent of a badger for me, in my opinion, for me. But um, they're not as expensive as a, a badger and perform quite well for me. But when you look at the price point of these uh, synthetic brushes versus uh, a natural hair, it makes it kind of hard to even, if you're trying to stay within a budget, to buy a natural hair. Not only, um, not only do these synthetic uh, knots perform quite well, the the price points. I mean. The Omega S and this one here, the Syntec, under ten dollars. And heck, you can get twenty-four meter, millimeter knots now for right at the ten dollar mark. Twenty-six, right around fourteen dollars, for instance. I mean, they're so inexpensive. It's hard to, if you're on a budget, it's hard to justify getting the natural hair. Prices definitely have changed over the years. You know, when I first started, synthetic was uh, kind of expensive. Started shaving in 2015. They were, they were kind of expensive. Me now, you can get a 26 millimeter, 13, 14 dollars, depending on what website you go to and what one you're looking for. In other words, after a while, it's not so much the knot that you're hunting for, as opposed to what kind of uh, handle you're looking for. Italian barbers got a few. That a 26 millimeter, 24 millimeter, and the 22 millimeter, all of them are pretty inexpensive. Maggard razors, they've got some nice looking synthetic knot brushes. $14 for the 26 millimeter, I think. Italian Barber same situation. I mean, you start looking at all these and this might be, how can you say, a, a great time to be in wet shaving.
synthetic knots have gotten cheaper and they're in quality. I have heard, and this may be how it needs to be phrased, perhaps they, the synthetic, do not hold as much water as a natural bristle, but they do retain water. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. Even though I'm not too sure I would agree with it. And maybe to make it a little fairer, fairer maybe you should be comparing the knot size. reason why I say that is because comparing a uh, 22 to a 26 I don't think is fair even though you're even comparing different knot kinds you need probably at least compare the same size I know for me they work fine I don't have that kind of uh, I guess you might say experience where I can really distinguish in between the two to any really great degree on how much water they retain or don't retain. Yes, this blade is quite a bit different. It is quite a bit different to me in my feel for the first shave. Now as uh, I progress on with this blade to see how many shaves I get that are comfortable and smooth. Uh, you know how uh, you always hear about a feather blade being so sharp that it's the first or second shave before you get it to the point where uh, perhaps the shave is a little smoother. But to me it feels more like an injector blade right now as opposed to the SS which is to me incredibly sharp. I mean it, you can just for me, when you first the very first shave with one, big difference. To me, it's huge, so noticeable. I guess you might say night and day, in my opinion. As you can tell, I usually get redness, especially here and here. It's just a natural thing for me, and on my neck right through here it's just naturally occurring typically my wife will notice it in the evening and let's say I shave in the morning it's not the shave it's just something unique about me I guess you might say Humphreys if you hadn't had a it wasn't here recently until I found Humphreys I didn't wasn't exactly the easiest to find in a store, much less Thayer's. Thayer's isn't exactly easy to find in this neck of the woods either. And I did find some Thayer's. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, found the aloe. And uh, is there a noticeable difference in between um, Humphreys and uh, say like something like Dickinson's that you can find at Walmart I couldn't tell you I don't notice anything different price difference is what I notice Humphreys and Thayer's for me where, where I found it at Marshall's was more expensive than uh, Dickinson's and I, I can't tell the difference so outside of maybe trying to find one with a scent and if you value the scent and whatnot that much in other words, justify spending that kind of money. This is the kind of splash that you need to shake up. It does not have alcohol in it. That's what it looks like when you shake it up. This scent, though, is... For me, I like a lot of her scents. I have, In other words, I haven't bought one yet that I just like, oh, definitely don't like that scent. That's the... the to me, the one thing that I really miss... 
about being able to walk in the store and pick up uh, the container, pop the top, take a whiff of it. That's the one thing that is missing when you do your shopping online with this sort of thing, that you don't get a chance to sample the smells, I guess you might say, the scents. But this one here was one of my my favorite ones. I really enjoy the, the scent of this one. Couldn't describe it, couldn't tell you. Uh, like I say, my nose only works part of the time, which is not very often. But I can tell you that uh, when it does work, this is one of my favorite scents. Uh, uh, Petals de Rose or something like that is the name of one that comes to mind that... Uh, uh, another one that I could, the scent is just, I really enjoy that scent. It's really nice, at least for me it is. Alright, once again, I shade with a feather. Artisan Club SS Shave It. Camisori style. And I do keep it in warm water over here in a uh, rather, it is an old bug. This company went out of business in 1950, so that's at least how old that mug is. Uh, Omega Centec and the soap I use today, Venule, Soap of the Gods, Dryads, and now this is an older container, so her, her tubs are plastic now. And once again, that is what it looks like inside. Looks great. I mean, that's that's really nice presentation of a, of a soap. This was a splash, dryads, Humphreys, witch hazel, and yes, Allen block, complete with rubber band. I don't know how you guys use one without a rubber band. I've only started with a rubber band, that's the only one I've ever used. And the blade of the day and the feather was a professional. Everybody stay safe and smooth shaves until next time.